Thank you for this opportunity to take part in the 2020 Haptic Symposium. I am from Stanford University and will present on a teleoperator that enables in-bore MRI-guided biopsies with force feedback. Liver cancer is projected to be the third largest cancer-related death by 2030 and is one of the most common organs to biopsy. Several imaging modalities can be used as guidance during liver biopsies. However, magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, provides the clearest and most prolonged imaging of the liver and suspect lesions. Today's MRI-guided biopsies require moving the patient out of the imaging bore for needle insertion. Needles are driven incrementally, with imaging scans occurring between partial insertions of the needle. This results in prolonged procedures and unnecessary error in needle placement. We present a teleoperator that enables access inside the MRI bore. A novel hydrostatic transmission is used to achieve near frictionless motion and allows forces and vibrations to propagate from the needle to a remote input. A custom pneumatic clutch is used to grab and release the needle. The clutch consists of a collet mechanism and is actuated with a foot pedal. This is seen in the videos on the left with the collet opening and closing. The video on the right shows an operator using the clutch to insert a needle. Haptic feedback is most beneficial in instances where vision is limited, and MRI is exactly such an application. The slow acquisition rates and relatively low resolution images make it difficult to capture dynamic events such as puncturing the liver membrane. The scans here depict this challenge. A membrane is embedded between two gelatin sections, and even in this simplified scenario, the difference between membrane deflection and puncture is difficult to see, yet this moment is well perceived by touch. We conducted a number of tests to understand our device's performance. System identification shows a roll-off near 100 Hz and near unity tracking at realistic manipulation frequencies. MRI compatibility tests show negligible change in SNR in the presence of the device. We also conducted a user study where participants performed mock biopsy tasks using the teleoperator and compared this to the same tasks holding the needle directly in hand. The video here shows a sample insertion. The operator inserts the needle using the clutch mechanism and is able to feel when the needle contacts the membrane, puncturing with overshoot equivalent to that of holding the needle directly in hand. Future work includes expanding to a multi-axis system that allows the operator to manipulate the needle's orientation during insertion rather than having to rely on initial alignment. Thank you for listening.